what is living when we try to define living we conventionally look for distinctive characteristics exhibited by the living organisms growth reproduction ability to sense environment and mount a suitable response come to our mind immediately as unique features of living organisms one can add a few more features like metabolism ability to self replicate self organize interact and emergence to this list let us try to understand each of these all living organisms grow increase in the mass and increase in number of individuals are twin characters of growth a multicellular organism grows by cell division in plants this growth by cell division occurs continuously throughout their lifespan in animals this growth is seen only up to a certain age however cell division occurs in certain tissues to replace lost cells unicellular organisms also grow by cell division one can easily observe this in in vitro cultures by simply counting the number of cells under the microscope in majority of higher animals and plants growth and reproduction are mutually exclusive events one must remember that increase in body mass is considered as growth non living objects also grow if we take increase in body mass as a criterion for growth mountains boulders and sand molds do grow however this kind of growth exhibited by non living objects is by accumulation of materials on the surface in living organisms growth is from inside growth therefore cannot be taken as a defining property of living organisms conditions under which it can be observed in all living organisms have to be explained and then we understand that it is a characteristic of living systems a dead organism does not grow reproduction likewise is a characteristic of living organisms in multicellular organisms reproduction refers to the production of progeny possessing features more or less similar to those of parents invariably and implicitly we refer to sexual reproduction organisms reproduce by asexual means also fungi multiply and spread easily due to the millions of asexual spores they produce in lower organisms like yeast and hydra we observe budding in planaria that are flatworms we observe true regeneration that is a fragmented organism regenerates the lost part of its body and becomes a new organism the fungi the filamentous algae the protonema of mosses all easily multiply by fragmentation when it comes to unicellular organisms like bacteria unicellular algae or amoeba reproduction is synonymous with growth that is increase in number of cells we have already defined growth as equivalent to increase in cell number or mass hence we notice that in single celled organisms we are not very clear about the usage of these two terms growth and reproduction further there are many organisms which do not reproduce like mules sterile worker bees infertile human couples etc hence reproduction also cannot be an all inclusive defining characteristic of living organisms of course no non living object is capable of reproducing or replicating itself
Another characteristic of life is metabolism. All living organisms are made of chemicals. These chemicals, small and big, belonging to various classes, sizes, functions, etc., are constantly being made and changed into some other biomolecules. These conversions are chemical reactions or metabolic reactions. There are thousands of metabolic reactions occurring simultaneously inside all living organisms, be they unicellular or multicellular. All plants, animals, fungi or microbes exhibit metabolism. The sum total of all the chemical reactions occurring in our body is metabolism. No non-living object exhibits metabolism. Metabolic reactions can be demonstrated outside the body in cell-free systems. An isolated metabolic reaction outside the body of an organism performed in a test tube is neither living or non-living. Hence, while metabolism is a defining feature of all living organisms without exception. Isolated metabolic reactions in vitro are not living things, but surely living reactions. Hence, cellular organization of the body is the defining feature of life forms. Perhaps the most obvious and technically complicated feature of all living organisms is this ability to sense their surroundings or environment and respond to these environmental stimuli which could be physical, chemical or biological. We sense our environment through our sense organs. Plants respond to external factors like light, water, temperature, other organisms, pollutants, etc. All, live, all organisms from the prokaryotes to the most complex eukaryotes can sense and respond to environmental cues. Photoperiod affects reproduction in seasonal breeders, both plants and animals. All organisms handle chemicals entering their bodies. All organisms, therefore, are aware of their surroundings. Human being is the only organism who is aware of himself, that is, has self-consciousness. Consciousness, therefore, becomes the defining property of living organism. When it comes to human beings, it is all the more difficult to define the living state. We observe patients lying in coma in hospitals virtually supported by machines which replace heart and lungs. The patient is otherwise brain dead. The patient has no self-consciousness. Are such patients who never come back to normal life living or non-living? In higher classes, you will come to know that all living phenomena are due to underlying interactions. Properties of tissues are not present in the constituent cells but arise as a result of interactions among the constituent cells. Similarly, properties of cellular organelles are not present in the molecular constituents of the organelle but arise as a result of interactions among the molecular components comprising organelle. These interactions result in emergent properties as a higher level of organization. This phenomenon is truly in the hierarchy of organizational complexity at all levels. Therefore, we can say that living organisms are self-replicating, evolving and self-regulating interactive systems capable of responding to external stimuli. Biology is the story of life on earth. Biology is the story of evolution of living organisms on the earth. 
all living organisms present past and future are linked to one another by the sharing of the common genetic material but to varying degrees